What's going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be looking at three exercises for pain, numbness, and tingling in your pinky finger, this part of your palm, and up your forearm. So if you've got pain, numbness, or tingling in that area, stay tuned for today's exercises. So this area of your hand, the pinky finger, part of the ring finger, this side of your palm, this has to do with your ulnar nerve, which runs through your wrist right here. It's different than the median nerve, which goes through our carpal tunnel. That goes over to these fingers. And I have a video for that nerve. I'll put a link down in the description if you have more symptoms over here on your thumb and index finger. But this side is going to be the ulnar nerve. That nerve runs up. It's the nerve actually that goes through our funny bone region. So when you hit that part of your elbow and it hurts, sometimes it'll shoot down to your pinky finger. That nerve then goes up the arm through our shoulder region and it starts in the lower region of our neck. So for this first exercise, when we're looking to reduce sensitivity in the ulnar nerve, we want to start up here at the neck. So for this exercise, what you're going to do is have your arm down elbow straight. And that's another thing to pay attention to. The ulnar nerve will get irritated if you have your elbow bent for long periods. And this happens to a lot of people when they're sleeping. So if you can, while you're working on healing this issue, try to sleep with your elbow straight. Maybe set your pillows up in a way that um, helps to remind you not to bend your elbow. If you're a student or you work at a desk, Try not to sit with your elbows on your desk bent for long periods. It will just continue to aggravate the nerve. So for this first exercise, we're going to start with the elbow straight to reduce some of that tension on the ulnar nerve. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to bring my shoulder blade up into elevation. And when I do that, I'm going to move my head into side bend away from the arm that hurts. This is going to stretch the nerves a little bit here. And then I'm going to go back and forth. So when my neck goes over this way, I'm going to bring my shoulder blade down. I'm going to go back and forth like that and this is what we call a nerve mobilization or nerve flossing. So when I pull one way, it kind of pulls the nerve down in my shoulder region as my shoulder blade goes down and then when I bring my shoulder blade up and move my head away, it pulls the nerve towards my neck and stretches it up here. So go back and forth for all the exercises in this video. You're going to do around 10 repetitions and you can do it several times throughout the day if your nerve doesn't flare up. And you'll try to perform them every day or every other day. Okay, so that's our first exercise, a nerve mobilization that's kind of for the neck region. The second exercise is going to put a little bit more stress on our ulnar nerve. So if you're really, uh, your nerve's really sensitive right now, this, the first exercise and this one are probably the ones you'll want to start with. The third exercise is going to be the most challenging. If any of these really flare your nerve up, then just do less repetitions of them or maybe just do one exercise in the video and just see if you can progress over time. So for this one, we're gonna bring the shoulder in a little bit more since we know the nerve goes through kind of underneath the pectoral muscles and through the armpit. For this one, I'm gonna bring my arm up and bend my elbow, which will put a little bit of tension on the nerve right there. And when I do that, I'm gonna move my head towards my arm. So again, I'm working on that nerve flossing. When my arm goes down and straight, I'll move my head away. And then I'm going to go back up, bend my elbow, and kind of touch my head with my fingertips, and then straighten the elbow and my head goes away. So again, I'm looking at flossing the nerve. In this situation, I'm pulling it and stretching it at my neck. In this one, I'm stretching it down here by my elbow. So I'm just kind of pulling it back and forth. Nerve flossing is called nerve flossing because it's kind of like flossing your teeth. You imagine pulling the floss back and forth through your teeth. You're doing that with your nerves. And it sounds kind of crazy, but we do have studies uh, where we take pins and put them in the nerves of cadavers and have found that the nerves actually do slide when you go through these different movements. Okay, so again, think about around 10 repetitions, and you can do this as many times throughout the day as it helps your pain. But again, if your nerve flares up, then just take a break from it, do less repetitions, take a day off, whatever you need to do to let the nerve kind of calm back down. Okay, that's our second exercise. All right, so this is our last exercise, our last technique for the ulnar nerve. Again, this one is gonna be the most stressful on the nerve, so just work up to this. Just pick the one in the video, or maybe the first two if you're really sensitive. As things calm down, you can try this third one. For this one, I'm gonna put my arm out straight to start with, my elbow straight, and I'm gonna bring my uh, wrist into a little bit of extension. Okay, so what's gonna happen here is I'm gonna keep my wrist in extension, I'm gonna bend my elbow. This is gonna put a bunch of tension on the ulnar nerve and at the same time, I'm gonna move my head towards my hand so that the nerve is relaxed here. And then what I'm gonna do is move my head away and straighten my elbow and 
bend my wrist into flexion, okay? So it's kind of this movement back and forth, kind of this little dance. This one's a little more complicated. You've got a bunch of steps. So when my elbow bends, my wrist extends and my head goes towards my arm. When my head goes away, my elbow straightens and my wrist goes into flexion. Okay, so all of these are just gonna, again, just sort of alternate whether the tension is down at my wrist and arm or the tension is up by my neck. If it feels like too much, you could just do this too. You don't have to move your head. You could just work initially on just mobilizing the nerve at the arm. So I've got elbow flexion, wrist extension, and then I go into elbow extension, wrist flexion. Okay, so we're just looking at the biomechanics of the nerve and trying to get it to slide. You can always take a break. Even, I don't have any ulnar nerve symptoms, but doing this, I can feel it in my ulnar nerve. It almost starts feeling a little numb down here. So just take a little break. It is stressful on the nerve. Just having it in this position is stressful on the nerve. So just do the reps you can. I hope you find these exercises to be helpful, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Thanks again for checking out today's video. Just want to mention my book is available on Amazon and Barnes & Noble. It has rehab programs for the most common injuries and pain issues. Each body region has its own chapter. For instance, for today's exercises, if we look at this nerve pain program in the neck chapter, this program's going to take you through three phases and include pictures of me doing all the exercises. So if you need a program, a resource where you can do your own rehab at home. The programs in my book are going to be more comprehensive. Again, they take you through three phases. The nerve mobilizations I showed in today's post are in here and some others for the other nerves in our arms. So if you'd like, again, a resource that allows you to do your own rehab, I'll put a link for the book down in the description. See you in the next video. Bye.